Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich with the Zardo Playbook, Emory Hunt. NFL Week 14 provides us with an NFC South matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the struggling, banged-up Atlanta Falcons. Falcons are really struggling without Matt Ryan, Michael Turner, two starting offensive linemen, only 22 rush attempts for around 65 yards. That's not going to get the job done for a balanced offense. They really need to make it happen. On the other hand, the Saints, they just keep fighting. They are a great second-half team this year. Washington should have won the game, but they kept coming at you. Breeze found Robert Meacham, who is it's official. It's a breakout year for Meacham. He's having a huge season statistically, and it's great for him to play off of Colson and the other guy, Shockey. So what are your keys to victory for the Saints? Saints have to understand coming into this game that the Falcons are an NFL team. So do not trick these guys like they play in the ACC. Remember, any given Sunday, so they have to play up to the competition. Don't play down to the Falcons level. Play Saints football, which they've been playing in the second half. So carry that over to the first half when they play teams like the Falcons or the Rams or teams that that, that they don't play up to or teams mm -hmm. that's not a big-time opponent. So they really have to play up to the opponent this week and don't take these guys lightly. Second, defensively, they're going to have to figure out a way to show up that run defense. Ellis is back still, but they are getting gashed in the run game. Every team is able to run the football on the Saints. That is a potential problem deep into the playoffs. You have to be able to show up and stop the run. This would be a good week to work on that aspect. Third, you have to take the Falcons out the game early. Get up on them so that way they don't believe that they end the game. Get up early in this matchup. Win the special teams battle. Knock these guys out early and they should have some success. The linebackers for the Saints, their true colors are really coming out. They really need to step up. Vilman, Vilma, Fajita, Shanley, other guys really need to step up. Stop that run because their D-line, they're they a little inconsistent, but they need to get more consistent. Stop that run, otherwise it'll be a problem. For the Falcons, just abysmal loss to the Philadelphia Eagles at home, 35-7. to What are your keys to victory for the Falcons? We're not, we don't even know if Ryan and Turner will be back, but they need those guys desperately back, and they need Harvey Dahl and the other offensive linemen because that offensive line didn't show us nothing Sunday. Well, the Falcons are going to have to take, attack the Saints outside linebackers. Uh, Fajita is going to be out. Again, he's struggling with, a, with an injury, so they're really going to have to attack the, the youth of that outside linebacker. And course, Shanley and pass coverage is atrocious, so they're going to have to attack these guys horizontally as well too. Second, they're really going to have to run right at the Saints. Washington was able to keep the game close in the beginning and able to have some success because they were able to run at the Saints, win the T.O.P. and keep the chains moving. That's what the Falcons have to do offensively. Defensively, they really have to get pressure up the middle. Drew Brees loves to step up into the pocket, one of the best quarterbacks to step up into the pocket in the league. So you have to get defensive pressure up the middle, not around the outside, otherwise he'll shred you. I like the Saints in this matchup. I do believe the Saints are going to come in, take care of business. Now they have a little cushion that Minnesota lost, so they don't have to press as much, but they really have to start the game early. I think they will do that. Plus, this is a rivalry game. We know how they get down with the Falcons. Well, the Falcons' secondaries have been having problems. Their veteran Williams went out with a season-ending injury. Daycoot has been having a pretty good season, but Chris Houston and Brent Grimes, they really, really need to step up along with the other guys behind the depth chart because you know the Saints love to play three, four receivers, even you, Shockey, so it could be a problem here. Falcons really need a lot of big plays out of Roddy White, Tony Gonzalez. Matt Ryan may not play. Too questionable for the Blackbirds. I'm taking the Saints here. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL.